when they say peace and security, then sudden destruction will be instantly upon them. That's a quote from the Bible. Now, it is from the New Testament, but as I said in previous videos, the New Testament is a continuation of the Hebrew Scriptures. So we got to get into the New Testament. It's part of the Most High's plan and purpose, so we have to discern that. So, you remember in the uh, Scriptures, Matthew chapter 24, uh, and if any of you have not gotten into the New Testament, please do so. There's nothing wrong in getting into it. You just have to to know how to weed out the uh, stuff that Christianum tried to put in there as far as the false teachings. But getting to Yeshua's teachings, we've got to be in touch with that because it's a connection from the prophecies of the Hebrew Scriptures. Well, with that in mind, in Matthew chapter 24, Yeshua, or Jesus, he was speaking to his apostles and in verse 1, it talks about how he went out and departed from the temple, and the disciples came to him to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say to you, that shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. In other words, the temple that great temple that King Solomon built would be destroyed. It would come down. And he goes on to say that uh, in the last days there would be war, nations, pestilence, earthquakes, crime. He said the good news in verse 14, the good news of the kingdom would be preached all over the world as a witness unto all the nations. But then notice in verse 15, he says, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, that would be the temple, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. He goes on to say that, so basically what he was saying there in verse 15, this, uh, if you see the abomination of desolation, that was referring to the Roman armies that came in into Jerusalem in the year 66 CE. They got driven out. The Roman armies got driven out. But four years later, four years later in 70 AD, they came back and they came into the holy place, which was the temple there, and they destroyed the temple. The only thing that's left is just the Wailing Wall, which was, really was not part of the temple. It was just the outer part of it. And so this is a prophetic uh, meaning here. What happened back then in the year 70, and then, of course, the Hebrew Jews were scattered all throughout the different parts of the world, down into Africa, into Europe, Asia, so on and so forth. Um, but we know that there were many Hebrews living uh, all over before this occurred as well. But after that destruction by the Roman armies, this was prophetic because this is saying, again, what's going to happen in the last days. And the Paul, who was a Hebrew, he was of the tribe of Benjamin, he followed Yeshua and became baptized, became a Christian. But he was a Hebrew. And he said in verse 3, where, whenever it is that they are saying peace and security, then sudden, what? Destruction is to be instantly on them, just like birth pangs on a pregnant woman and they will by no means escape. So did you catch that? He said, when they say peace and security. So what that is saying, friends, is when these world leaders start getting together and they start talking about peace, and especially when they start talking to these religious leaders around the world, they have no idea what's getting ready to come. The United Nations, all these world leaders, talking about peace and security, everything is great. Watch out. And the, the, no doubt the religious leaders are going to be on board too. They're going to be a part of this peace and security cry. They think that they're on the same uh, board with these uh, political nations, but they're setting them up. They're setting them up for the final blow. And so we have to be ready for that because it's coming. When these world leaders get together from all around the world, from it don't matter if they're leaders from Africa, America, Great Britain, Russia, North Korea, 
they all are going to fall for the okie doke because the most high has got something in mind for them. So, so watch out when these world leaders start talking about development and economic security and um, the development and different um, areas of um, economy and oil production and the um, precious uh, commodities of the world. All these world leaders trying to get together and they're talking about peace. That's when uh, it's going to break out. That's when it's going to break out. So, in Revelation chapter 17, prophecy that we need to be familiar with talks about Babylon, the prostitute on the beast. And uh, the Apostle John, he was a Hebrew Jew and he followed Yeshua. And he was the last remaining apostle before the apostasy set in, before Christianity started trying to twist the scriptures the weed got in with the weed. He was the last remaining one, 99 years old, and he got this vision of the revelation. He talked about he saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous dames and had seven heads and ten horns. And this woman was dressed in purple, purple and scarlet, and she had a name on her forehead, Babylon the Great, the mother of the prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. And she was drunk, it says, with the blood of God's holy people. But guess what? Later on in Revelation chapter 17 and verse 16, John says that in the ten horns, and ten is a symbolic number, ten means complete number, and that's referring to the, this wild beast with seven heads and ten horns was referring to the political nations, the political kingdoms of the earth. Symbolic. These ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate. Who? Hate the whore. Hate the prostitute. And shall do what? They shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh. Are they going to stop there? No. It says, and burn her with fire. In other words, completely destroy her. Why? Verse 17, for God had put in their hearts to fulfill his will. Uh-huh. So this is the Most High wants to get rid of these false religious systems, these false religious um, temples and shrines and churches and all of these abominations. This is what this prostitute was referring to symbolizing false religion, worldwide false religion, and how she will be destroyed very, very soon. So when they say peace and security, uh, that's the final sign to let us know it's getting ready to break out at any minute. And so we need to be aware of that. All these shrines around the world will soon be done away with. All of these shrines. Here's the United Nations is going to take care of them. So, be ready, friends. This is going to happen very, very soon. Very, very soon. See, just like what happened in World War I in 1914, it's going to happen. A worldwide tribulation is going to break loose, and it's going to destroy all of these ones. All of these shrines will be done away with. So get ready. They're going to turn on these religions. There's old President Kennedy. They took him out too. So it's going to be a tribulation just like that. It's going to be even worse. Remember 9-11? It's going to be worse than that even. Because this is going to be a destruction of...